everybody. Welcome to your daily dose at home. My name is Lauren and I'm part of the Visitor Engagement Department here at the Calgary Zoo. Today we're inside the hippo habitat talking all about the wonderful and incredible care that goes into taking care of our two hippos, Sparky and Lobi. Both have been residents of the Calgary Zoo for quite a while. When you visit them here, you can tell them apart by looking at them. Lobi is more pink in the face. Uh, he's got uh, lovely, lovely flush pink guys. Uh, flushed pink cheeks, so when you see him come out of the water, you can tell him apart from his grandma, Sparky. Both live behind me here in the Savannah building, and they get to enjoy this fabulous pool. One of the questions we get asked all the time is, are hippos great swimmers? And the answer is actually no, they're not. Despite the fact that they are a semi-aquatic, that means they live half their life in the water, hippos actually cannot truly swim. If you watch Sparky and Lobi inside the hippo pool, you'll see them put their feet down on the ground and then push up to be able to surface. Uh, they can actually sleep underwater with their nostrils above, uh, but if a hippo pool is too deep, you won't find, it won't work for the hippos. So you don't see hippos in places like the ocean, it's too deep. In the wild, they live in shallow rivers or lakes. Uh, so it's kind of fun, we always think of hippos as being in the water, but they don't swim. When you take a look behind me at this amazing hippo pool, I've got some fun facts to share about it. When it was built, the hippo pool was the largest indoor hippo pool in North America, and it holds 320,000 liters of water. It's constantly moving through our filtration system to help keep our hippos safe and healthy from any sort of microbes or anything else going on. So we're always cleaning that pool. It's flowing through a whole bunch of awesome, really cool filters. We use sand filters to get all the little particles of things out of the water. And what's in that water? Mostly hippo poo. Hippos poo throughout the day, just like all mammals. And because they eat a grassy diet, sometimes there's lots of particulate material in there. So the sand filters work really hard to get that out. The other thing that's helping keep our hippo cool, right behind me, you might see some tilapia. That's a fish inside the pool. Visitors are always asking us, what are those fish doing in there? I don't think hippos eat fish. You're right, they don't. Hippos are herbivores, which means they are a plant-eating animal. But you know what hip tilapia eat? Hippo poo. So they are actually part of the amazing system that goes into keeping the hippos at the Calgary Zoo safe and healthy all the time. Now part of your daily dose activity at home today is to start thinking about the zoo in a new way. While we're off of school and all those things, doesn't mean that our school subjects stop. So today we're talking about math in the savannah. Uh, so while uh, you're working at home, we're going to send home some questions to help you start thinking about doing math in the savannah. All the animals in the zoo, they have weights, they have heights, they have spots for us to count. So some activities you can do at home with your littles, you can count the spots on a giraffe. A giraffe is 17 feet high. How many meerkats that are one feet high fit into a giraffe? So we're gonna send you some awesome questions for some different ages. Uh, have fun doing that Savannah math at home, and we'll catch you on the next Daily Dose at Home.